royalty. royalty. That's just a woman you treat like more things. They pull out them foreign things. Came up, so my brothers, I never changed up. Keep it real, stick around, but keep that thing up. In this video, I'm going to be using Miss Me's blender add on. And it is meant to simplify the custom creation process, it doesn't eliminate everything that you have to do but it does make it simpler for beginners. So the first step we would do is download the zip file and I'm going to link that below in the description box. Oh, and by the way, she says this only works in Blender 2.76 to 2.79. So keep that in mind. So we're gonna open Blender, go to File, user preferences install from file and then we're going to click miss me the zip file after that we're going to read the warning and check the box and save user settings the first step when using this add-on is we're going to append our studio mesh and then we're going to import our obj and we're going to delete bone bone and my OBJ is not in view. So I'm going to press S to scale it down and bring it into view. Now we're going to rename our UV map to UV underscore zero. Okay, now I'm going to arrange my UV map. You can unwrap your mesh however you like to do it. After I unwrap my mesh, I'm going to join the studio mesh with the OBJ. I'm going to add my base texture. Now I'm just arranging my OBJ mesh onto the base texture. Okay, now I'm going to append our studio mesh again. Delete bone bone and delete the rig. And now we're going to rename the studio mesh that we just imported as REF in capital letters, R-E-F, as reference. And now we're going to click data transfer in the Miss Me folder or the Miss Me tab and click data transfer. Make sure you save it first before you click data transfer because sometimes it closes out Blender. After we do the data transfer, now we're going to click Weight and Vertex Transfer. And we're going to check if everything transferred correctly by checking the UVs and everything looks good. And now we're going to check our weight paint 
to make sure that transferred correctly. And that looks good. So that is it for that. Now we're going to bake our image so that we can add, you know, texture and import it in Sims 4 Studio. So to do that, we're going to add an image for the width is going to be 2048 and the height is going to be 4096. Click OK. And now we're going to bake our image. The margin two, press bake. And now we're going to save our image. After you save your image, we're going to open, I use Photoshop, so I'm not going to get too much into detail about the Photoshop because that's a whole nother story, but um, on my first layer, that's the image that we baked, then I duplicate that layer and I invert it so that it can be white and then I add the texture to the third layer. And then we just save that and we import it into the Sims 4 Studio. And that is basically it in a simple way, simplified way. And this is going to be how it looks in the game. I'm just checking to make sure everything looks good in the game. And it looks fine. All right, well. That is a beginner's friendly version of how to create Sims 4 custom content. So if you like the video, subscribe, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one.